Hey, what's up guys? Adam here. What I have for you guys today is a jailbreak tutorial using Red Snow on iOS firmware 4.3.2. This jailbreak will work on the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the iPod Touch 4th gen, plus the iPod Touch 3rd gen, and the original iPad. It does not work on the iPad 2. One thing to keep in mind with this jailbreak is that it's tethered, meaning every single time you turn off your iOS device using this jailbreak, you'll have to re-plug into Red Snow and boot back tethered, uh, which is a little bit annoying, but this is the only jailbreaking solution currently for firmware 4.3.2. So, you know, that's all we can really do. Anyways, guys, if you want to do this jailbreak, even though it's tethered, uh, just simply download two things. Number one, Red Snow for Mac or PC, and the link for that will be in the description below. And you'll also need the 4.3.1 IPSW file for your iOS device. For me, I have the iPhone 4 version because I'm jailbreaking the iPhone 4. And yes, like I said, 4.3.1, not 4.3.2. Uh, this is because of something you'll see in just a second. So guys, once you have those two things downloaded, just simply open up Red Snow and you'll be doing all the jailbreaking here. Uh, on the first screen here, just click Browse and select the 4.3.1 IPSW file. Uh, this will process your IPSW file. It's successfully identified. Click Next and it will prepare your jailbreaking data. Uh, now on the next screen here, uh, after it's done patching the kernel, uh, you'll see that you want to install Cydia. From the screen, just install Cydia. That's all you need. Uh, click Next. And this is important. Uh, you're going to need to turn off your iOS device. And also, you're going to have to make sure it's plugged into the computer. So, I, so as you guys can see here, mine's both plugged into the computer. And I'm going to turn it off for right now. Uh, so simply hold down the power button for about three seconds and slide the power off and then your iOS device will now be uh, turned off. So guys, once your device is turned off, click next and get ready with your finger on the power button. You're gonna be putting your device into DFU mode. Just follow the on-screen instructions or just follow what I'm saying. So click next and hold down the power button uh, for three seconds. Then without releasing the power button, keep holding on to the home button. Uh, so hold both of them at this point, just have both of them and do not let go of the power button. After this 10 seconds is done, you can let go of the power button, but keep holding onto the home button uh, for another 15 seconds, and then the jailbreak will be initiated. So as you guys can see here, it's exploiting with Lime Rain now, and your jailbreak will now begin. So I'll be back in just a second when the jailbreak is done. So guys, as you guys can see here, the device is now booted on, and if you scroll to your second page, you should see Cydia. Now as you guys can see here, Cydia is white, and what this means is that you're going to need to go back into Red Snow. Uh, this will most likely be happening for you as well, so go ahead and open Red Snow, uh, click Red Snow, uh, click Browse, and you're going to repeat, repeat the process, but instead of installing Cydia, uh, you're going to go over here, wait for this to prepare the jailbreaking data, and you're going to just boot Tethered right now. So do the same thing, turn off your iOS device. When it's off, you can click next and you're gonna be putting your device into DFU mode again. Now, as you guys can see here, the pineapple logo will come up. And once it's done, you can slide to unlock. And as you guys can see here, Cydia is now clickable, and you can go ahead and get Cydia all set up. Anyways, guys, that's it for the jailbreak tutorial. That's how to jailbreak your iOS device on firmware 4.3.2. If it helped you out, be sure to like this video and or favorite it, and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks all for watching.